What's up, gamers? Welcome back to the Grand Star Legion playthrough of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. We're playing Danger Mario, and we just completed Chapter 2, and Sobel begins the prologue to Chapter 3. I'm your boy, CD Round 1019, and baby, I was born this way. <coughs> the Xnauts are bringing word to Grotus that they can't reach Crump. You have a report. The Crystal Star in Boggly Woods has been taken by Mario. Mario laid a beating on all of them. <clears throat> what are the other stars? Well, we're still searching for them. <clears throat> Basically, the x have one Crystal Star. It was already on Rogueport. <clears throat> He's telling the X-Nots to lay, uh, keep a close eye on Mario. <clears throat> Peach is still in the holding cell wondering if, uh, how everybody at the castle is doing, if she'll ever dance again, if she'll ever see Mario. Door won't open, so we'll just kind of walk around until... She gets this premonition that the door opens. Believing that this is Tech's doing, we're gonna head over to go see Tech. <coughs> Talking to Tech, Tech says that, uh, Peach expressed regret that she would never be able to dance again. She's e-dropping. Um, Tech was ordered to keep surveillance. <coughs> Tech still doesn't understand love. Tech says, would you dance? Would this, he says, uh, would you dance with me? She doesn't know how. She says, would this be in a substitute? So Peach is going to dance with herself. <clears throat> so we're going to enjoy a nice little dancing mini game here. And that's that. <clears throat> Tech says, thank you, that was fun. <laughs> Is the impulse fun? Tells Peach that she can use the communicator again. And we send another email off to Mario. Alright, tells Peach to go back to the room. We'll analyze this impulse. She smiles and says, you're a weird computer. <clears throat> All right. Let's check in on how Bowser's doing. Alright, 
Bowser has made it to Petal Meadows. And he's on his way to Petalburg. Bowser bonus level. Whoops! Screwed that up. Funny thing about when you're that big is that Bowser is actually too big to go into the castle. <laughs> like, he will go into the castle if he's smaller. <clears throat> Oddly enough, a Koopa Troopa is scared to see Bowser. to be Peach in a window. Bowser tells Peach she's coming with her. Peach won't speak. <laughs> I'd rather die than give up my life-size Peach poster. I don't know why you were leading it out there in the first place. <laughs> I look like the huge mighty king of guy who talks to posters. Meanwhile, back at the plot... Tell us thank the P the puny tribe tell, uh, says thank you and that everything can return to peace and that we should come back again. All right, time to make our way back to the rogue port sewers. to have an email from Peach. She says you're very concerned, but I'm fine. Uh, the fiends who kidnapped me are searching for the crystal stars. If I learn anything on email, I miss being at the castle and spending time with you. Isn't that sweet? All right. You don't want to fight, so we're just going to kind of try and avoid these guys. Uh, well, we could try. We failed, but that's okay. Uh, we're just gonna run. No point in standing here. <clears throat> Coins to spare. Alright, heading back to the sewers. already down to the level we need to be, which is kind of handy. Let's uh, get Flurry to show us what's behind here. Whoop. There we go. Happy Heart P. That'll be helpful. I don't think we have enough badge points right now, so we'll check that later. And we'll use this one more time to get to the Thousand Year Door. And let's present the next star, and find the location of the next one.
up in the sky is the Glitzville in the Glitz Pit, which is where the third star resides. <clears throat> All right, we've got the next location. Hmm. Let's go talk to Frankly. We need all the crystal stars to open the door. Why would they seal it away? That's not... what? That's not what? I don't know! <coughs> Treasure seal away, the town was destroyed, no one's even sure what that, what it was that caused the demise. Darkness stole the sky and the cat doesn't rain down. What about the next crystal star? It's floating in the air. It seems to be pointing to Glitzville, studying arena where great warriors engaged in various battles. Ostensibly, families go there and on vacation lounge enjoy the fights, but behind the scenes, we're exploring the world, yada yada yada. I was supposed to get there. A special blimp flies there, departs from Rogue Port several times a day. The problem is getting a seat, and the way is to get a ticket through certain channels. <clears throat> Where his street is, tickets go through Don Pianta on the west side. At west from Rogue Port. Alright. Okay. So, let's uh, take care of a few things. So here stands Gus, and uh, he's going to try and take 10 co coins from us as a toll. We're not paying, and we can take them. <clears throat> going to have Kumbala Tattle. That's Gus, he's super annoying, tries to take tolls from everyone, his HP is 20, attack is 3, defense is 0. Alright, so we're gonna power smash him. Alright, so Goombella is actually not gonna be much of a help here, so we're gonna swap her out for Coops. I'm gonna power smash him again. <clears throat> That's all right. And he's quick. A few more hits and he'll be done for. Missed. <laughs> That's what happens when you're dizzy. Alright. Let's just end this now. And Gus is down. He will never take tolls from anyone again. And in perfect timing, that was a level up. More badge points. What? All right, run away. Okay, so we're gonna see if we can talk to Ishnael. I believe he's behind here. We're gonna see if we can talk to him about getting a audience with Don Pianta. You want to meet with the line cheat and steal a no good jerky for brains on Pianta. Real thieves like us to send us uh, yada 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 yada. <coughs> It'll cost you 64 coins, fine. Whoops. Whoop, my bad. Okay, I'll pay, yeah. Carl in the West. We need to go there by a dried shroom and a dizzy dial. Dried shroom, dizzy dial, in that order. And then the answer is yellow. Whoops. <laughs> All right. <coughs> 
Now we got what we need to know. So you might be saying to yourself, oh, wait a minute. The west side is still being blocked off. Well, we'll take care of that. Oh, that's locked from the inside. That's the wrong one. Now we're on this side, though. Let's take care of a few errands. This is the help room. Good explanation, yada, yada, yada. Whoops. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I keep pressing buttons. All right, need a key. Let's take on... Um, uh, croup. We're going to want to do a few of these. Um, <clears throat> help my daddy. We don't want to do that right now. Um, hit me, please. We'll do that one. He's out and, um... He should be out, uh, kind of close to where we need to go. We're going to want to take care of a few of those because we're going to need to later. There's Luigi again. We're not going to talk to him today, though. This Toad out here is telling us that, uh... Oh, he's out here to tell us that the contact lens is in. So we're going to go in here and we're going to buy the contact lens. And while we're here, we're going to see if we can store a few more things. Uh, well, no, we don't really need to right now. Hey, Zesty, we got your contact lens. <clears throat> and now she'll let us leave. Alright, we're finally on the west side of town. This is the nicer area of Roadport. And we're going to go into Don, P to, uh, Don Pianto's item shop. We're going to buy ourselves a dried shroom. And then a dizzy dial. Yellow. Oh, that wasn't the right question at all. Let's try this again. Yellow. Alright, we know the password. Alrighty. <coughs> Let's go into the Don's office. You want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? That's funny, you stand up comedian. Got some nerve. <coughs> Not so fast, boys. I like this kid's gumption. Came to talk. Dan ain't a crime. Boys can wait to rough him up before we get done. Got a ticket for wanting the blimp. Help some broad. Got herself kidnapped. Rescue. We gotta collect these crystal stars. Treasure's real. Everybody just shut it. I don't care if the treasure's real or not. Cal, but like your buy who comes, wants to rescue some security. He fell for it, made a decision. You do me a favor and you get a ticket. It's easy. Thing is, the daughter eloped with a young associate. <coughs> yada, 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 yada. These two pinheads can't find her. Francesca and Frankie look like that. Don't come back if we don't know where they are. All right. <clears throat> so we're gonna head over there. Uh, let's see. So we gotta go out this way, and we're going to also run into. Uh, I think uh, I passed him over here. Let's see. He's in this area. Yep, there he is, Moose Million right there. <coughs> Alright. We're just gonna hit this guy with a hammer a few times. Can't remember. 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 He remembered. Alright. If he buys a sleepy sheep and then at the uh, rogue port, then he can go to Pedalberg and sell it for a profit. Alright, that's over with. <clears throat> Let's actually go back in here. Just look at the prices. There's another uh, thing we can take care of in here. 
A Tasty Tonic is three. Sleepy Sheep is eight. Five. All right. Five for a mushroom, five for a syrup, three for a tonic, ten for a flower, eight for a sheep. We'll need to remember that for later. For another trouble that we'll do. <clears throat> Let's go find Frankie and Francesca. Actually, before we do that, I believe over here is... Yep. All right, so uh, this guy wants to know if we like to make an investment. Lumpy's heading out to dry, dry desert to look for oil. <clears throat> Knowing how this game works, we're gonna give him a loan. We're gonna try to make a bunch more coins later on and give him a, another two more loans, and then he'll pay us back in spades. So we want to make sure that we give that guy some money later. Here's Francesca and Frankie. Maybe I'll head back to the boss. No, we don't want to. <coughs> They're talking about running, or maybe we shouldn't. Yes, we'll tell you. We'll tell them that we didn't find you. And then we're gonna head back to the Roadport Trouble Center real quick. See if we can talk to the guy who's trying to make his own shop. What should we do? I mean, we gotta tub down Pianta something. center we go. Uh, let's see. Price adjustment. Fire flower and a tasty tonic. Oops. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, what am I doing? <laughs> Taking on Garth's trouble, looks like. You're going to make contact in the house at the very back of East Rogueport. Alright, well... <coughs> I accepted the wrong trouble, but that's okay. I should try to take some of these on anyway. <coughs> I believe he said he's in the back side of the house. Which is back this way. Uh, Garf should be over here. Hey, Garf, what's up? Uh, you're not Garf. Okay. Um, thought you were. Uh, maybe he's in this house? Uh, no. I might have this wrong. Let's, uh, let's go back and see what he said again. Or unless this is Garf. Nope, and that ain't him. <clears throat> This you? Nope, that ain't you. Let me see if I can just cancel on this real quick. Whoop. No, it'll cost 30 coins. Alright, let's not do that. Contacting the house at the very back of East Rogueport. Okay, so... Oh, this is East Rogueport. So we're gonna just uh, go this way. At least I think this is East Road Court. Uh, no, I must be in West Road Court. Alright, well, I don't know my East from my West. Wait. Uh, yeah, this is East Road Court. Hold on, something's off here. Oh, that, okay, you're Garf. Okay, somebody needs to find my key. Uh, I want to drive a key. I went to the bad shop. Okay, he went to, dropped his key when he was went to the bad shop in Roadport. That's not hard to get to. <clears throat> get there, we just got to go in this in. And go up here. Oops. And out this door. And there's his key. Let's check the bad shop while we're here, see if there's anything cool in here. Simplifier, super appeal, piercing blow, first attack. 
do a first strike to defeat weak foes without battling. We might come back for that one. Close call. We don't really need that right now. Um, nothing... Well, actually, we should make a bunch of coins in the next area. Let's grab this first attack. That could come in handy. <clears throat> and let's see if the bad shop resets when we exit and go back. It does not. Alright, so we're going to need to come back in here later. That first attack badge could come in handy, though. In fact, hey, we got enough badge points to turn it on right now. Imagine that. Let's turn that on. Let's also turn on Happy Heart. Okay, cool. And we got Garf's key, so we'll go talk to him. Here's your key. Thanks for the coins. <coughs> I don't know if there is, but let's go see if we can raid this guy's house. Nope, nothing to see in here. Alright. Back to the trouble center. Uh, price adjustment. Alright, what did he want? He wanted the prices for... Ah, whatever. He'll ask when I talk to him right here. Yes, we did. I want your fire flowers. They are 10 coins. And Sleepy Sheep is 8. And a Tasty Tonic is 3. Alright, another 20 coins. Anything else we can take on while we're here? <coughs> Find this guy, but Birdo, I'm hungry. Um. Yeah, we can, um, we can take on this one. We'll go see Bomberto and we'll give him a mushroom. We don't really need him anyway. Actually, and we'll stop in here and we'll upgrade our partners. How many do we have? We have five. So close. All right, well, we'll upgrade Coops for now. <coughs> See Bumberto. <coughs> this should be him right here, I believe. Nope, that's not him. Uh, I guess it's this one. Nope, that's not him either. Um, okay. That would be this guy, then. Nope. Where's Bumberto? I did take on the trouble, didn't I? Something's wrong. Yeah. <clears throat> What's going on here? Oh, there. Alright. I don't know why I didn't recognize this at first. Here, take this mushroom. Thank you. <clears throat> um, I wonder if we can take on a few more. Uh, for the sake of, um... For the sake of getting enough coins to give that guy another loan. Let's see if we can take on one more trouble. Um, we can even take on one where we have to go talk, listen to Croup. Um, take, we can take a shortcut pipe to uh, Petal Meadows. At least I think we can. Uh, Gunther, find this guy. Pulled off a credit card fraud. I'll be in Rogueport Plaza. <coughs> Alright, he might not have gone far, so let's go see what's going on with him. Basically, I'm just trying to make another 100 coins so I can give uh, that guy another loan. Uh, it's it's absolutely worth doing so because he'll repay you in spades. Uh, so let's talk to Gunther here. Uh, that must not be you. Oh, wait a minute. Is it you? Okay, here's Gunther. 
I want to rough him up, I uh, guess, well, otherwise you can never catch him. He's hiding somewhere here in Rogue Port, so I want you to find him. By the way, the bands are those guys in the blue mask work. Alright. Okay, chances are that he's, um... Chances are that he's the one back here. Let's just assume that he is. Did you do it? Nope, that ain't him. <clears throat> it's not likely that he's on the west side of Rogueport because that's kind of the nicer side of town. Um, uh, Alright, so he's not over here. Uh, and I, I'm pretty positive that he's... Actually, I know exactly where he is, now that I think about it. He's, um... He's... Back wall. Um... This way. There he is. Alright, so he's gonna run. I don't remember this bandit over this way, so... Where is it? Um, let's check to see if he went back here. <clears throat> he did not. So he probably went to the main side of rope port. Pretty sure he went back here. thought that he did. Well, that ain't him. Huh. I actually don't remember where he went. <clears throat> well, let's just look around to find him. We'll just call this a uh, an errands episode until we're done. Did you see which way he went? I have a feeling he went out this way. Yep, there he is, right there. Okay, and now he's gonna be... Now I believe he should be behind, um... <clears throat> behind... the building here in Rogueport. Thought he was over this way. Doesn't appear to be. Yep, oh, there he is. Alright, we got him. Another 20 coins, thank you, sir. <laughs> kind of roughing him up a little bit. Alright, we are 14 coins shy of giving this dude a loan. Let's see if we can take on one more trouble or if we can sell something. Um, that dried shroom's only gonna make me one coin, so. <clears throat> see if we can handle one more trouble in here. Do that one. Um, plenty. Order me an item. Emergency shroom. Lala, play with me. Ah, uh, all right. Let's take that one on. <clears throat> I think she'll give us a couple of uh, piantas for free. we might want to use anyway for some stuff. I'm going to go in here and sell this dried shroom and see if I can sell anything else for a few coins. I'll get rid of this. Uh, I actually don't need the dizzy dial, so we'll get rid of that. Um, I will give you this fire flower. Uh, yeah, you know what? Why not? I don't seem to need him yet, so I'll give him the dried shroom, and I'll give him the honey syrup. Okay, we got ourselves 100 coins. 
<laughs> Let's give this dude back down here another loan before we forget. And we can give him a third loan. Uh, after the Glitz Pit, we should make a decent amount of coin in the Glitz Pit. There you go. Alright. Now that we're dead broke, let's head over to the Pianta Parlor. Hey, what say you, sir? What do you got for sale? <coughs> double pain takes double the damage Mario takes. Yeah, I, I don't think I want to talk to you. Do I have anything in my item I can have Zesty cook up? Uh, yeah, why not? I'll have uh, Zesty cook me up some fried shrooms. Whoops. I'll have you cook up this mushroom for me. <laughs> All right, shroom fry. Now it replenishes six HP and two FP. More useful than that mushroom that I had. Alright, let's hang out in the Pianta Parlor for a little bit. <clears throat> Talk to the Kitty Boo. Hey, Kitty Boo. Thank you. Alright, we solved that trouble. How much are stuff we can win here? Super Shroom Super Appeal and a refund. Refund some coins you use if you use an item in battle. That might be helpful later, but uh, we'll just kind of come back for that. And we'll play the slots later. And she'll take the 10 piantas back so she can hold them for us. Alright. I'd say we're pretty much done there. We've taken on some troubles. We've made some good progress. <clears throat> so let's go talk to Don Pianta. Can't tell you where they are. Daddy, wait. So right before they were going to beat up on Mario, they show their faces again. Head hung low and your tail between your legs. Frankie said no. He said we should come back and talk to you. No, it's my fault. No, it's my fault. No, it's my fault. Boss! <coughs> Instrument Dara used up your last favor. You, Frankie. You're like a son. This is how you repay me. I'm disappointed. I don't ever want to see your mugs again. Get out of my sight. That's what you expected. That's what I'm saying. Go. Do what you want. Thank you for your blessing. I'll make your daughter happy. Enough already, just go. Congrats. This is great. Yada, 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 yada. Goodbye, farewell. <coughs> Excuse me, sir. Oh, you found my daughter and got her to come back and just look how it turned out. We'll complete our soap opera. Deal's a deal. You can have your blimp. Who knew that guy's got her smiling ear here? She's happy. That's good. You're your man for the job. Thanks a bunch. Don't ever want to see that gloomy face. Don't ever come back. All right, we got our ticket. So we're going to head over to the land of cotton candy and hot dogs and brutal, brutal fights. It's time to head over to Glitzville. Got me an email. What's we got here? It's from Coopley. Coopley's amazing. I mean, machine technology. He's doing great. He's bringing fresh from water, picking files, polishing his shell. Uh, come back from your adventure whenever you're done. It's from Coopley. <coughs> All right. All right. Let's save. 
show him our ticket. Alright. Make our way to the cheap, cheap blimp. And we are up, up, and away! Chapter 3 of Glitz and Glory. Alright, this is a good place to call it for now. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Hope you enjoyed uh, this little intermission. And when we come back, we're going to head over to Glitzville and jump head first into the Glitz Pit. Uh, make sure you check out all the rest of the videos on the Grand Star Legion YouTube channel. Check out the official YTR forums. And if you haven't had enough of me, follow me, TechnoGeek, and Chaos Control channel on Twitch. And we'll see you next time, next video. Take care, folks.